Sairam children, let us continue with our chapter number 7, Fraction. Children, what is fraction? Fraction is a part of a whole, right? Today, we are going to see fractions in words. Children, fraction is written as numerator upon denominator, right? But in words, when we write we name a fraction by first writing the numerator followed by the ordinal name of the denominator. Now, what is ordinal? Okay, let us see. Here children, we have cardinal and ordinal numbers. Now, ordinal numbers, they define the position of a thing or number. Now, in fraction... When we are writing, we have to also write the ordinal numbers. Right? So, let us see. Cardinal numbers are the normal numbers that we write. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. For ordinal number, okay, here 3 is third. 4 is fourth because it is showing the position. 5 is fifth. Then 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. After 10th, we have 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th. Okay, so these are the ordinal numbers. Children, look at this example. In this circle, the green portion is the shaded one. We are writing the fraction of the shaded portion. Okay. Now, only one part is shaded out of two parts. Correct? So, we write a number as 1 upon 2. But if we want to write in words, we write it as half. Okay, children? Then... See the next example. Okay. Here there are three equal parts. Okay. The circle is divided into three equal parts. Out of three equal parts, only one part is shaded. So, what is the fraction of the shaded portion? It will be one part upon three equal parts. Correct? Which is one upon three in numbers. Now, if I want to write in words, okay, first I have to first write here 1 and then followed by your ordinal number, which is 3 is your third, right? So, it is 1 third, okay? Now, next one is your circle is divided into 4 equal parts. Children, now here the fraction of this shaded portion, it will be 1 upon 4. Correct? Because one part is shaded out of 4 equal parts. So, it is 1 upon 4. But when we write in words, we write it as 1 fourth. Okay? 1 fourth. 1 is for numerator and fourth is for denominator. Children, children, note down. Only for 1 upon 2, we represent it as half. We don't say it as one second. It is wrong. Okay. We write it as half. Whereas, now let us take one more example. Here we have a circle. Okay. And I am going to divide it into parts. Now children, how many parts I have divided? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 parts I have divided. Okay. And I am going to shade here. 1, 2 and 3. 3 parts I am going to shade. So I have to find out what is the fraction of the shaded portion. So how I am going to write? I will write it as 
थ्री बिकॉज थ्री पार्ट्स आर शेडेड अपॉन टोटल नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स चिल्ड्रन डोंट राइट यर दिस पार्ट ओके वी हैव टू राइट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स सो टोटल देर आर एट पार्ट्स सो विल राइट यर एट एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू राइट इन वर्ड्स इट विल बी रिटर्न एज थ्री एट ओके सो हाउ वी विल राइट इट एज थ्री विल पुट अ डैश एंड देन वी विल राइट एट okay so 8 3 upon 8 is written as 3 8 okay children now take out your textbook we are going to start with our exercise 7.1 children this exercise 7.1 we are going to solve it in our textbook okay question number 1 is write w for whole and f for fraction in the boxes so we have to find out whether the given figure is whole or a fraction the first one is pizza so pizza here you can see there is one piece out correct so that means it is a part because it is divided so we will write here f fraction b1 is cookies right so all the cookies are inside the jar intact as a whole so b1 is w whole c1 is ice cream now ice cream also no one has eaten it right so that means it is whole w d1 is apple now apple is divided here into two parts so that means it is fraction we will write here f e1 is a cake now the cake you can see here it is full it is complete so again it is w it is whole right the last one is chocolate now your children see chocolate only few cubes are remaining and one cube is also out correct so it is divided so f1 will be your fraction so in the box you write there f okay now children question number 2 is represent the following fractions in numbers now we have to write in numbers the answers you can write in your textbook or in your notebook okay the a1 is 1/3 how we will write 1/3 One will be in numerator and third means three, so it is written as one upon three. B one is three eighth, correct? So we will write it as three upon eight means eight parts. Total eight parts are there, so it is three upon eight. C one is five ninth, okay? So how we will write that? Five will be in numerator and nine will be in denominator because there are ninth part. Okay, D one is seven eleventh. Okay, so how we will write that? Seven upon eleven. So children, note down the answers. Next one is write the following fractions in words. They have given us in numbers. We have to write in words. Okay. Now a one is one upon six. It will be written as one sixth. Okay. Write the correct spelling, children. One sixth. Second one is two upon five. It will be written as two fifth. Next is seven upon ten, so it is written as seven tenths because there is ten equal parts. D one is eight upon nine, correct? So we'll write it as eight ninth. 
write the correct spelling children children question number 4 is write the numerator and denominator of the following fractions okay now a1 is 3 upon 5 we have to write the numerator and denominator so what is numerator here in this fraction number 3 correct and denominator will be 5 so write it down in the box b1 is 4 upon 7 so which one is numerator number 4 and denominator is 7 Question number 5 is look at the figures and write the fraction represented by the shaded portion also write the numerator and denominator of the fraction now a1 look at the figure children first we have to write the shaded the fraction of the shaded portion okay then we have to write the numerator and the denominator so here see children in a figure how many parts are shaded 1 2 3 so numerator is our shaded portion so we will write here 3 in the numerator and how many total parts are there count everyone 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there are eight uh, total parts so we'll write eight in the denominator okay so it is 3 upon 8 in numerator write number 3 and denominator number 8 next one b1 here you can see there is only one shaded portion right so in numerator we'll write one and denominator is the total parts so how many total parts are there one two 3 4 so it is 4 correct so in numerator here we will write 1 and denominator 4 the last one is a star in this also see how many shaded portion parts are there there are 1 2 3 so numerator will be 3 and denominator is the total parts count how many total parts are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are total 6 parts so here we will write 6 in the denominator likewise numerator is 3 and denominator is 6 write down the answers children in your textbook in your boxes now it is time for homework for your homework you are going to write the cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers in your homework notebook till 20 you are going to write then from question number 4 you are going to write the numerator and denominator in your textbook c d and e sum and from question number 5 you will do d e and f sum okay Thank you children Happy Diwali to you all